Hey everyone and welcome back to another Python tutorial. In this video I'm just going to be carrying on the Python program um, which we started before, so the backdoor program which we created. So we're going to progress on to carrying on the backdoor program by creating features like removing files, removing directories, sending files and creating directories. Um, first of all, I'd like to apologize for the delay in this video. I know it's been quite delayed. I've just been away from YouTube for some time, but in the meanwhile, thank you so much for all the support you guys have been showing. Um, anyway, without further ado, let's begin. So what we want to do while removing files is we want to use the OS um, module that we were using before. So first of all, we need to send the command over to the slave program. To do that, what we want to do is go over and initialize another command. So we do elif command equals, um, we're gonna call this remove file. So that's the command name. And then we're gonna do connection.send command.encode. So what that does is it was gonna send the command over to the slave program. So now here we also have to add another line. So we recognize the command. So we're gonna do elif command equals remove file we're going to do so and so down there so when we want to remove a certain file what we want to do is send over the instructions for the file so we need to send over the directory in which the file is located and the file name itself for that we need to create a new variable and we'll call that um, file and directory so what that's going to what that's going to ask the user is for a string so input string please enter the file name and directory so we gather the file name and directory from the user and then we send it over to the slave program so connection dot send file then directory dot encode and then we're gonna print um, uh, what should we print we're just going to print when the command has been once the command has been successfully sent. So we're just going to print, um, let's say, command has been executed successfully. We just do a file remove. Okay. So once we're done with this, we're going to move on to the slave program and we're going to code the slave bit so what we want to do is receive the file so we're going to do um, file and directory equals s dot receive let's receive um, around let's say 6000 and then what we want to do next is we want to convert that into a normal string so we have to decode that so we do file and directory equals file and directory dot decode which is going to overwrite the variable with the with the file name that we want and the file directory that we send from here and then once we've received that we're just going to do os dot um os dot remove and then we do the path and then the file name so we just do file and Duh. so that should do it and finally we're just going to print uh file has been removed or we can just say one has been executed successfully like the other ones we did okay and then we can move on to testing this now i'm pretty sure it should work in the first go so let's run the server and now we should carry on with the slay program Let's put this on two sides for now. That's the host. So we're going to send the host. Okay. Connection successful. Remove file, which is the name of the command. File name and directory. So what we're going to do is, for the sake of this tutorial, since the slave program is situated in a different folder, along with another test file, um, I'm going to copy the, the directory for this. Okay, copy, and then we're going to paste it in here, and then another one of those, and we're going to name the file. So, test.docs.docs. We press enter, 
and then command has been executed successfully if we go back as you see right here the test file is missing because we've just deleted it so that was it for today's tutorial guys thank you so much for watching um please make sure to drop a like comment subscribe for more and i'll see you in the next tutorial Peace.